when you had to wait, you know. The problem is there was these people. <laughs> they, I don't know how to explain it. They um, let's say there are these specific people I always know that wow. always Guess we're here again, have huh? problems. There's a real nostalgic feeling like, to this with place. With the cashier, they're like. Uh, I don't know. Uh, uh, go, uh, I do not do this or that. Uh, uh, do, 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 uh, do, your name, please. Uh, the name. Uh, of the, uh, I'm like, bro. Come like you've been missing on. It. Like I understand they have a hard time and everything. I I get it, but it was at the wrong time. Like I really needed to pee, and I just I was like, oh my god, dear lord, please just make them go, please. And then there was the one guy probably saw me like suffering just you know, he was like I'll just open a new cashier for you, you know, you can check out here. I was like, oh my god, you're you're blessing this guy so like, thank you. Duke! Did you come all the way to the entrance to greet us? Um, just to say I didn't mean anything. You know. Or, you know, race. I didn't mean anything with race. I'm just uh at this point, it almost becomes like it, but I have nothing against that, you know. It's more about, um, just when it always, for me, this is personal, but this is just personal. Every time there's something like that happening, there's, like, a stop at the cashier, there's a small problem, always them. Always them. Um, I don't know where they're from, um, they are from, like, um, uh, well, they're not Swedish, oh, I can say that much, but, like, I mean I think bad, but for some reason, I, they're, they're, they're always there, and they're always problem with the line, that's why I always do the fast checkout, but this time I had some other stuff that couldn't be scanned, so I had to go through the cashier, oh my god, man, I'm so, oh. of course, I'm here to welcome you and I'm our over. dear Miss Charlotte, whom our good head nurse recommended to me. It's an honor to finally meet the much-rumored Duke! Thank you for consenting to my visit to the fortress, sir! No need to thank me. But that said, I shouldn't be the focus of your interview. I trust you recall our agreement? Mm -hmm. Of course, of course! All right then, this way. We're gonna pry some information. She will pry some information from you somehow, don't worry about it. <laughs> The two hey, lovers, huh? No need to be so nervous. I've already taken all the photos we need. The two lovers. Um, Miss Charlotte, do these pictures really need to be published on the cover of the Steambird? It would Why? seem that Miss Lorvine doesn't want her face to appear beside that of Mr. Jurier. Mm hmm. Sir, please don't say things like that. <laughs> but it looks like dear Mr. Jurier denies it. Might this interview be very important to you, then? No, I, I, I just... This is my first time being interviewed, and I'm very thankful to the Steambird for... <laughs> now, I might not look it, but I actually did meet Mr. Edwin once. And I'll be honest, I enjoyed chatting with you more. You've definitely got more of that genius vibe going on. Oh, how nice. The boat that brought about a miracle, the ark that saved the people. Why, you recreated a myth back there, like an emissary of legend! <laughs> Damn. Still, if I might ask, where's that flying ship now? Huh! Looks like Charlotte's trying to get herself another exclusive scoop. I have to apologize, but that ship is presently in the bowels of our factory. I'm afraid it won't be easy for you to get a shot of it. You really? Will. Well, then in that case... Could I have an interview with you to make up for that loss? <laughs> she really doesn't know how to squeeze up. Wait, uh, she really does know how to squeeze opportunities for all they are worth. You already know my answer, I'm afraid. Best you interview our head nurse instead. Or perhaps you'd like to take another photo of this couple of researchers? Couple of researchers? Did you really have to use the word couple? <laughs> Well then, two solo photos will do. Them. Is my hair messed up? Please, someone help me have a look. Things sure are getting pretty lively here. Eh, we've seen this kind of thing 
before. Mm -hmm. Oh, seems like everyone's here. Would any of you like to try this new drink I came up with? Ah, Sijuin. You will be in my... Uh... Uh... uh my, 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 hey, my Miss Charlotte. Team. Why don't you... Uh, take <laughs> some pretty there. photos of our head nurse. Doomsday, yeah, that's my team team. Doomsday, you will be in my Doomsday team. Hmm? Uh, sure. Come on, Miss Sijuin. Over this way. Let's find oh, a brighter spot. Oh, my God. Huh? Oh, uh, sure. Uh, do I have to smile? <laughs> so, how have things been at the fortress? Same old, same old, as you can see. Fontaine's undergone some changes, but this place is still more or less the same. Other than that flying ship, I got a tad too much attention, I think. So the number one leader now is technically a near relax for Fontaine, right? So if you were to try to refer, if with they, you know, I don't, I think they would stop doing well, or I don't know. Will they keep doing Farina as you know as pretend? Because I don't think that's gonna work anymore, right? Because everyone now knows. Ah, um, yeah. So New Relic will be basically. Yeah. That's why I decided to let the interview go through. We should news. direct more public opinions toward the behind-the-scenes heroes. Am I right, Mr. Jerrier? Miss Lurveen? You're too kind, sir. I believe that you too should have your day in the sun. N not that you would want that, which is a pity. <laughs> I'll just leave the spotlight to you two. You work with the right people while I'm shooting it from the left. I see. Lots of things happened that day, huh? Anyway, regarding that Harbinger, I'm not sure you remember, but his three young followers are still waiting for his return. He sure did win them over, huh? <laughs> I'll tell them that there's good news and bad news. The good being that their boss seems fine, and the bad being that they must face extended sentences for abetting his escape. <laughs> oh, actually, what about you? Are things gonna change for you too? <laughs> what change can there be? The fortress will keep chugging along, and so will my duties. As to what Miss Farina's departure will mean for the nation, and if our laws and governance will be transformed, we'll leave those to the folks in the overworld. Hey everyone, the photo shoot's done! Good. In that case, let's call it a day here. Thanks for your cooperation. Come on, Traveler, let's go! Till next time, everyone! Alright. There'll be a next time? <laughs> yeah. Maybe. Who knows? I might write a story about the underwater factory next time. Until then! Right, so like... All right. Last stop, the docks. Right, please, like, read it. He's like, oh no. Why? Why? Oh, you know, I'd love to see you in one of Charlotte's photo shoots one day. Oh. Is that really necessary? Our line of work doesn't really require much photographing. It's precisely because we don't need the picture that they'll have value as keepsakes. You don't really look all that opposed to the idea, you know? Maybe I'm just happy that I managed to once again avoid the spotlight. I think this interview went well either way. Yes, you successfully kept prying eyes away by using Mr. Jurier and Miss Lurveen as shields. Very <laughs> good. You should be happy for them. They have a bright future ahead of them. <clears throat> yes, of course. They but they're just they're not in the relationship though. Just saying. <laughs> just saying. All started on her old journey trying to fix this prophecy. Talk to We never got to ask anything more about our sibling, right? Yeah? The Farina wouldn't know about it, you know. I don't think so. I remember, did they actually know that? Oh, you did. You did know I don't have it. I'm in season! They really are here! How did you know? Navia mentioned that she stayed in touch with Linny and the others after working together. Apparently, they've been at the docks distributing these strange pockets the whole time since. Traveler, Paimon, 
Ah, and Miss Charlotte too. This still kind of nostalgic. Mode. Would you like a magic pocket? What sort of gadget is it? It's a wondrous bag that can be used to carry many things. The water level has returned to normal, but if you see any of your things floating around, you can use this to carry them. Or you could trick a friend into doing it for you. <laughs> trick a friend? Hmm, I wonder which of my friends would fall for that. You could just make a friend like Fremenet here. Isn't that right, Fremenet? <sighs> Is this what you meant by, I'll help you make some more friends? To be honest, that sounds pretty sweet. Could I have your contact, please? Oh? Uh, oh, uh, sure. Uh, please, write down my address. No, sweet. Sure are sweet. working hard to help Fremenet socialize. That's so sweet. He was the one who proposed doing this. He even wants to assist in our magic shows. Ooh, sounds like that would be him. Yes, I was planning to first introduce Pear as an assistant, and later Fremenet himself. In the future, I think we can leave underwater escape magic to him too. Mm -hmm. That said, would anyone want to see a diver escape underwater? Maybe. Oh, it'll work out. Every journey begins with the first step. He'll become a part of our show eventually. Uh, Lynette, could you come over? Miss Charlotte says she wants to take a picture of us. Got it. Like, or got it. My, yes, that Charlotte is rather perceptive. She got rid of everyone the moment she realized I had something to say to you. Hmm. So, how have things been, Traveler? I'm doing all right. Father says that you did a great deal during the latest events. She's very grateful for your contributions to Fontaine. No problem. Uh, that's all right. We were more than happy to help. So, what's she doing now? Oh, I guess you haven't heard. What? After Lady oh. Farina left, Father and Monsieur Nervilet opened negotiations, during which he gave Fontaine's gnosis to her as a diplomatic gift. Hi. What? Wait. Uh, wait, so that, wait, so does that mean Nurelet don't have 100% of his power anymore? Uh, I don't know. A diplomatic gift? A gnosis? Huh. <sighs> Why? Oh, uh, they are so easy. Yes, I was quite surprised at first myself. But when I thought it over, there were actually a number of things going for it. It could have been done as an apology for the incident with Lord Child, or as thanks for his help in tying the all-devouring Narwhal down. Furthermore, Father did also lend significant aid to Fontaine and Poisson. I would agree, but I've also heard that it seems that Monsieur Nervilet has had a significant change of heart regarding the matter. Oh? Uh, so there's some reason for this that only Nervilet knows about? I suspect you'll have to ask him about that yourself. Ah, yes, speaking of which, I did see him strolling around the entrance to the Fortress of Meripede a while back. that but back to the topic the gnosis was given to the knave right what about child they say that he's returned to snezhnaya to recover from his wounds i hear that the recent disaster really did a number on his health well he used the you know form for way too long i think well i guess i can now call him one of my war buddies that's true with the Fatui, to think we'd be allied with them this time. Yeah. So shocked by such a simple switching of sides? 
Isn't it just a name? Father. Well, well, what do you know? Come to the docks to see how my children are doing and meet the traveler by chance. Please do not pay my accomplishments in Fontaine too much mind. I would have done them regardless. Are you going to take the Gnosis back to Snezhnaya? Why wouldn't she? That's her whole... That's her whole thing. That is our duty as Harbingers, yes. Don't be too preoccupied with sides. The goal of the Fatui concerns not a single place or person, but the entire world. With such a grand goal in mind, it is inevitable that we must wear many masks. Switching my masks is something I've always done. Well, will you keep the two your position? Well, that depends on many things. No one truly knows what the future holds. What good is honesty if you can't rely on it forever? As for you, I very much look forward to our next collaboration. Good things cannot be achieved alone, and you've proved yourselves to be great partners. Actually, I just remembered something. Please, help us deliver this. A vision? <sighs> Alright, I'll remember to return it. Thank you for keeping it safe for him this entire time. And that's a wrap for me. It, huh? You... Huh? You're... Greetings, Miss Journalist. Huh? Uh, um... <laughs> hello. If I'm not mistaken, there are diplomatic channels I'll need to report to to take a photo of you. That is correct. So forgive me, but I will not be able to serve as a subject in your article. However, feel free to write as much as you'd like about our dear magicians and our upcoming rookie talent. I... I will! The sea breeze is quite pleasant. Oh, I shall continue my walk while the weather remains so agreeable. Farewell. Goodbye. Can we see you Farewell, again? Farewell, Father. Well, it's obviously going to be some sort of quest. Uh, you know, it was the name will be released during Fontaine, so there could be some big story quest there. Oh, she has such an intimidating presence. I didn't even dare to take a picture. Thankfully, I've already wrapped up all my pre scheduled interviews. Thank you all. This will be more than enough for me to write about, I'm sure. Don't be too nervous. Why don't you take a magic pocket before you go? Here, traveler, Paimon, you take one too. All right, thank you. To move things about? That's right. <laughs> Funny. I was giving out magic pockets when we first met, too. Mm -hmm. And what do you know? I'm doing the exact same thing right now. So many things have happened, but the pockets are still the pockets. I guess this must be life. We will all follow our own paths, and serendipity will lead you to your fated friends. All right, then. We'll be handing out pockets in some other districts later, so we'll get going now. Have a good day, you two. All right. See ya. Well, guess we sent Charlotte off. Should we go see what Nevelette's doing? As long as he's not so busy that he doesn't have time to chat anyway. Yeah, we need to speak to him. Uh, this seems, uh... <sighs> oh, I can't even teleport. I actually have to run all the... I don't. I don't like to be better because they have. They both have their qualities. I'm lagging. It's like you. The entrance to the fortress. Ooh, he really is there. I'm gonna bring out some friends. Show me the praise. What the heck? It just. It. it you can attack all the fire source. Dang. <laughs> They're still attacking. <laughs> so you really are here, Nevelette. Kinda <laughs> didn't think you were going to have free time this hour of the day. Really? Oh, I suppose you must have met Mr. Linney. He took the time to greet me earlier when he passed this way. In any case, you came at a good time. I was just considering reaching out to you to set up a meeting. So I may explain some things that I haven't had the time to before. Aww, Paimon's glad that you remembered! Thank you for keeping us on your mind, what with you 
you being busy and all. All right, let's have it then. How was Fontaine actually saved? The whole business is still quite the mystery to us. <sighs> He's like, actually, I just delayed it even more. <laughs> It's gonna come back around. It is strange how words can often leave a bitter taste in the mouth when it finally comes time to say them out loud. You will let's die softly before telling you the truth concerning uh, what he saw that day. Most of the Lord is seen uh, having the principal and used to free and let's perform a mistake on him. So that's what happened? I only saw Farina's part myself. Destroyed the divine throne of the Hydro Archon and restored your power to you, transforming you into a fully fledged elemental dragon sovereign. Yeah, but but the, 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 the part of the power contained in the gnosis, no? Or does he, he does he still have the full power? They restored it, but because what I remember was that the Gnosis was imbued with the power of the Sovereign Dragon a part of their power, you know but how they are so strong the Archon is so strong the from dissolving. for me, the authority of the Ancient Dragons refers to absolute control over the Hydro Element Fontanians were incomplete humans born of Egeria's use of the power of the Primordial Sea with constitutions similar to that of Mimics but so long as those primordial energies remain within them, I could use the ancient dragon's authority to grant them true blood, after oh. the fashion in which life was first brought into being on this planet. Oh, <gasps> wait! So all of them actually became real humans now? Like, and like actually, actually. So they shouldn't be affected by the primordial sea anymore, right? Or in other words, when I... I gave my verdict. Fontanians became true humans, yes. and thus would naturally no longer be dissolved by water from the primordial yes. sea. Yes, yes, yeah, dude. Fossilor must have counted on you to make that decision as well. Your verdict was the key to making the prophecy appear to have come true while saving everyone. You could say that it was at that moment the Fon uh, the Fontanian was finally truly born. Yeah, and in a manner of speaking, Fossilor. To fulfill the original Hydro Archon's wish to turn Oceanids into real people too. Yay! <laughs> oh, don't. Move. It seems from your expressions that you still have more things you wish to ask. Yeah, I have a lot. Ask away. I will tell you the truth as I know it. Oh, here we go. Here's the end of it where you just get to ask for everything. All right, let's start. About the initial verdict that was passed. Uh, passed on child. I have investigated his case along many avenues, and I have learned that he once fell into an unknown chasm when he was young. There, by chance, he awakened the all-devouring narwhal. Oh. But whether it be by sentiment or reason, that should not have been enough to consider him the root cause of the disaster. At most, he would have had tangential liability. As for the judgment passed by the Oratrice during the trial, whether it was due to that liability by association, or Fossilor deliberately using him to buy time for us on the assumption that he would be able to hold the creature off, I cannot say. Guess Fossilor had Fontanians in mind the whole time! In the end, it was thanks to her that they finally became real humans! Uh, hang on a second! Paimon suddenly got another question! Back when Fontanians hadn't yet become real humans, were the children they had also transformed... Oceanids? Life has always flowed like water. Do you recall how Fontanians would often come to the Fountain of Lucene to pray for children? Yeah. yeah. Lynette said the fountain is where all the waters in Fontaine converge. In truth, even those couples did not know that such prayers were no mere custom, but instead a form of ritual. Those Oceanids who were blessed within the spring water would later descend as new humans in the coming months. Ritual won't be of any further use, but it'll probably live on as a local custom. Ask away. I will tell you the truth as I know it. About Fontaine's future. Yeah, about that. Riley said Farina has already left. What's that all about? Ah, Lady Farina. The people are only aware that her death sentence has not been carried out. 
She abdicated the post of Hydro Archon and left affairs related to that title to me before leaving the Opera House. That meme? The title of the Hydro Archon is Nervalat. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the true Hydro Archon. Let's go. <laughs> I related Fosalor's words Lord to her faithfully and completely. Nervalat. After hearing them, she seemed neither saddened nor comforted. She simply said that she was tired and needed to rest. Well, yeah. He deserves to rest. Having said that, she then packed her things and moved out of the opera house. Not unlike how an ordinary person might. Oh, what?